Alright folks, here we have a tier 40 Ancestral Nightmare Sigil. I'm about to show you my new God build for the Necromancer, my new tweaked improved God build as well, it's insane. So without further ado, let's run it blind. We're not going to take any potions and uh, let's just see what this is about, a tier 40. Let's go! We are level 88 right now as well. Yep, 88. Alright, I'll see what level these are in the dungeon. Um, should definitely be a lot higher than myself. I think they're going to be like maybe 92 or something like that. Or, or may, actually, maybe higher. We'll see that. I'll tell you when the first enemy shows themselves. Show yourself. Oh, level 94. So I'm a level 88. They're level 94s. So they're six levels above me. Light work. Well, light work, as you can tell. <laughs> I told you this build's bonkers. <laughs> this build is freaking insane. Gonna try with that cheese uh, freeze attack a bit. All right, we have to play a bit more uh, strategic. It's not in case that it's doing mega damage. It's just the freeze and uh, kind of that attack they're doing will slow us down a little bit. Well, I say a little bit, but I just play crazy aggressive. That's just how I play. But yeah, without the cheese, I can't do shit. And you can just see them make a damage as well. Beautiful, there you go. Tell them, Namos, tell them. Hench, gang. Awesome. Alright, sweet. Oh, it's pretty cool. We've got a mix. We've got spiders, we've got bears. What was it? Werewolves. Oh, trees. Yeah, we got a mix of enemies. Light work, let's go. I hope the butcher shows up today. We did fight the butcher twice yesterday, and he actually dropped me like a rare legendary ancestral, unique as well on top of all that. So uh, we might run into him. I guess the only real time we're taking mega damage is uh well not even mega damage, the only time we're getting like slowed down is when we're getting hit with an ice prop or a, a stun or something. It's actually pretty cool, um I'm liking that I'm actually fighting different monsters as well. It's pretty cool as Alright, um, oh, we've got to kill 
All right, the animus is probably going to be from down the bottom. So we've got to get to this person here. And then maybe that will fill up the full animus. If not, probably one more. And then we should open the door, have a little bit of a battle. Then maybe the boss fight after that. We'll see though, man. We're running these blind and it's just fun. This is the, I think this is the funniest way to play the game. Just blind, see what it's about. So there's probably uh, one more about that. Actually. Yeah, um, I don't know if I've got stun reduced duration on. We get hit with something like that, we will get stunned for a second or two. Oh, he's not one of these where he keeps running off. There's supposed to be some badass boss or something, and they just keep running away from me. Or like mini bus. Yeah, look at him. Look at him running away. Cheese Meister. Yeah, well, look at all his friends. And he decides to have the guts to show himself and prove himself. There we go. So we got the animus now. So we just need to return to where we need to go. Put that in the pot. We can move forward. This might be a fake chest. We get these in the map and you have to do like a big defense. They're pretty fun to do as well. All right. Let's go through here, take the left, and then we'll go straight to that Animus Urn. See what it's going on. Right, straight through there. Let's go. We've got one bone spirit stacked already, so we just need one more blood orb, and we should hit some uh, nice explosion damage. Sometimes good to be prepared. Uh, like I said, I do run these blind, and I run kind of quick through these maps, but obviously for yourself, if you want to just take it a bit slow and just be a bit more uh, strategic the way you play, it's definitely going to be beneficial for you. light work we literally you know what let me just check this room though real quick because i do like doing these defenses you get some crazy defenses in random rooms sometimes or a tree stump <laughs> but you never know man. i've done that before i literally ran a whole mission didn't find a like a legendary i literally went to one random room open one like random wooden box and there's a literally a legendary in there it's so dope and then it happened again so yeah man little advice check every room if you feel like there's something there you never know, man. And if you if you check it, then you don't have a regret that you didn't check it. So while you're there, just check it. Takes an extra 10 seconds, why not, man? Forty-five for the win. All right, go through here.
We're going to be having a little look just in case we have missed anything or, like I said, a little chest, anything. And I do like like finding those lore books, um, just sometimes the reading and whatever, mate. It's pretty cool. I think they got a lot of detail to this game. It's pretty awesome. Especially me being new to this franchise. Great experience so far. These are six levels above my level right now. We Gucci for Luchi Penatucci out here. What have we got? Um, just go through them. What's up here? So this is part of the connection. Okay. And don't forget, you're going to get more XP anyway. So if you kill like more enemies and uh, you're running a dungeon, why not? If you're there, you may as well get more XP. All adds up, man. All right, so we connected that. Let's run it back. Oh, look at this random spider. You shall die, scum. Let's go. Alright, beautiful. Let's keep moving. Again, we haven't taken any elixirs or anything like that, but when I get to, I feel, true end game, I'll take it a bit more serious um, and take like elixirs and get more prepped for each mission, I guess. But we have having fun. Awesome. Right, how are we looking here? What's this? Rune stone. Oh, just activate two rune stones. Like that isn't creepy any. <laughs> uh, it's forcing me to go into this one. But you know how we do out here? We don't listen to these. We make our own rules. Let's go down the opposite way. Let's see what's down here. we made them think that we're creepy by not listening to them and doing our own thing to go in the opposite way. A bit like scary movie kind of thing, it? where uh, the evil villain or something, or the swan that's supposed to be scary, ends up getting scared. Defense mission, let's go. This should be fun. I do love these defense missions, they're so dope. Are we gonna do five waves? Okay, let's do this. Oh, nice level 89. Let's go. We've done five out of five, we've done it.
Like, what is he doing? My guy, you just camped at the back, doing nothing. And you're running away from me. Get over here. Right, event's done. That was like a scorpion. Get over here. That's why I love the, the way the build works and the tendrils. So dope. Alright, awesome. Uh, what was... Oh. Crit strikes. Critical strikes for everything. Oh, sheesh. We picked up all this. Alright, let's get rid of this. How? Oh shit, I got, um, I got Paragon points out of as well. I should really add that in a second. You know what, should we just do it now? Might as well put on, yeah, see that quickly. I'll do this, pro go through this properly after. So we cleared the bottom part the opposite way he told me to go. This is probably just going to be the last bit of the rune stone, and then maybe a section, and then a boss, maybe. See something ahead, maybe this is it, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. That's it. Maybe they'll just spawn around me now and surround me. Oh, I guess not. It's a loot goblin there. Uh, we don't really care for that right now. Yeah, some of these loot goblins try and be clever though, not just on like nightmare dungeons, but just in general. Just be too careful of trying to like over follow it, because they will just put you in a bad position. Uh, that's why I said I'm not bothered about like even chasing it. So I mean, look at that. Imagine if I just ran through that corner and ran in blind like that. It might have been a bit of trouble. If we'd have just got spammed a lot. And not be prepared. Instead, jokes on them. Jabated. Um, oh, just travel now. Travel to the ritual of rampage. Awesome. Try to put me in the wall there. Epic fail. I just thought that would cool. Thought we'd check it out just in case. All right. Um, yeah, there's normally a boss when you get this, and there's normally like a, another room maybe. Let's check this out. Probably like a defense room down here, and then probably the bus is just up there. I 
Yeah, literally, as soon as I get to level 100, I'm going straight for Uber Lilith as well. I cannot wait. So looking forward to fighting him. It's going to be dope. All oh, right, Lightwork, we basically conquered it anyway. Let's get through here, and then maybe the boss. Normally, when you get this well, you normally get straight to the boss. Yeah, more time. Let's go. Oh, I don't think I've fought this boss before. Garden, beautiful. There you. <laughs> I think I just I think I just got a blunder screen unique uh, legendary I think I just did so I'll take that but there you go folks tier 40 my new necromancer god build super insane and yep told you uh, I've actually got one of these already and I've done a YouTube video on it however that's pretty decent roll uh, it's not even leveled up but it's 2252 awesome Okay, I've actually got um, a new build coming out for that weapon as well at some point since we got some other cool stuff But I'll go for that later All right, let's get rid of this uh, Stuff let's pick this up and we got another nightmare sigil Awesome, I'm stacked to these as well So if anybody wants any carries or want me to run anything with them I'll easily be able to carry through these as you can see light work Yeah, we stacked them up. So, all right, let's get this done Beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my glyphs properly and set the whole thing up on the Paragon board, but this build is freaking bonkers, as you can see. So if you have any questions, I'll do a full YouTube video and breakdown of when it's complete, but as I keep scaling, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So there you go, folks, man. Uh, another YouTube video done for you. Tier 40, Necromancer. I was level 88. They was, what, six levels above me, and we just destroyed them, so. Let's get it.